The spring of 2015 is going down as one to remember for Denver water. Flows through the upper South Platte River system were the highest in 20 years. In fact, heavy rain combined with snowmelt filled all four of Denver water's South Platte reservoirs. What you see behind me is our spillway. It's how the water gets from the lake back down into the South Platte River. Right now you're looking at about 706 cubic feet a second. We haven't seen this much water since about 1995. It's just a pretty impressive sight. Right now, everywhere is experiencing high water levels. Uh, this is ours. Denver Water uses the South Platte River as a pipeline to capture, carry, and connect water through a system of dams and reservoirs. Next stop after 11 Mile, Cheeseman Reservoir. So I'm standing above the spillway here at Cheeseman Reservoir. You can think of that a little bit like a bathtub overflow drain. When the water elevation in the reservoir gets high enough, it'll just spill over this part here and thunder down like you see below us here. You can feel the, the ground rumble here a little bit as that water smashes against the rocks. It's almost deafening. The river heads to the confluence of the North Fork and the main stem of the South Platte River just past Deckers. We came into April looking pretty normal and then suddenly May uh, changed everything on us. Nathan's team balances reservoir releases, precipitation amounts, water rights, construction projects, and customer demands. Some of the biggest challenges are just the future unpredictability. From year to year we don't know how much snow we're going to get, how much rain we're going to get, and even from on a month-to-month -month basis. So trying to plan and make sure that we have um, all the scenarios covered is the hardest part. Denver Water's last reservoir along the South Platte River is Strontia Springs. So as you see behind me that's our service spillway. It's been 20 years since we've seen water of that magnitude. It's been quite the experience to you know, watch this and be part of, you know, this uh, historic water season for us in Colorado. This is where all the water ends up, at one of our treatment plants. Here we remove the sediment and then filter and disinfect the water before sending it on to your home. It's been quite a year and quite a journey. I'm Matt Bond from Denver Water. Thanks for joining us.